Welcome to our Electrical Engineering YouTube channel. In this video, we will see an example on Equivalent Resistance. To download these notes, you can visit this website link electrical-engineering.app. This website is specially designed for electrical and electronics engineering students. Question Find equivalent resistance between terminals A and B. Now, here for this circuit, we have to determine its equivalent resistance between terminal A and B. So, solution. First of all, we will take this circuit. Now, here we can see, we can solve this circuit by using two techniques. One is by Wheatstone bridge and second is by transforming this star connected network into its equivalent delta. So, we will use Wheatstone bridge. Now here this is a Wheatstone bridge circuit basically. So let's see how this is a Wheatstone bridge. So if we draw a circuit like this. Now here, this circuit is a Wheatstone bridge. Now we have to check whether it is balanced or not. So here, in the middle, this resistance is 10 ohm. Here we can see this resistance is 10 ohm. Now what we will do? We will put A. Let's say this is terminal 1 and this is terminal 2. So here also, this will be terminal 1 and this will be terminal 2. And now, now here this will be let's say terminal A. So, this terminal is connected like this. So, it will be 2 ohm and this will be 4 ohm and this will be terminal A. So, similarly, this will be terminal B. So, we can erase this part and this part. Now, next, this will be 8 ohm on right side and 4 ohm on left side. So, 8 ohm and 4 ohm. Now, let's see whether the bridge is balanced or not. So, to check this, what we have to do? We have to divide. 2 divided by 4, 2 divided by 4 is equal to 4 divided by 8. So, 4 divided by 8. So, this is LHS, we can say left hand side and this is RHS. So, this will be 2 by 4 is 1 by 2 and 1 by 2 is 0 0.5. And here on this side, it is 4 by 8. So, it will be 1 by 2. So, 1 by 2 is again 0 0.5. So, hence the bridge is balanced. Here we can write it is balanced. Now, what we can do? When the bridge is balanced, that time we can ignore this 10 ohm resistance. So, again let's copy this circuit. Because there will be no current flow flow through the 10 ohm resistor when the bridge is balanced. So, let's erase this part. Now, we can easily find the value for RAB. So, RAB will be, now here we can see this 2 ohm and 4 ohm are connected in series. So, it will be 6 ohm and this 4 ohm and 8 ohm are connected in series. So, it will be 12 ohm. Now, we can write 6 ohm parallel with 12 ohm. So, it will be 6 into 12. 6 into 12 divided by 6 plus 12. So, it will be simply, let's solve this in calculator. 6 into 12 divided by 6 plus 12. So, it is 4 ohm. So, therefore, the value of RAB is 4 ohm. So, this is how we can solve. 
सो दिस इज हाउ वी कैन सॉल्व इक्विवेलेंट रेजिस्टेंस प्रॉब्लम डोंट फॉरगेट टू लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब टू दिस चैनल एंड थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग